Our Council on Foreign Relations was begun in 1919 at a meeting in Paris at which British participants started their own Royal Institute for International Affairs. The Royal Institute for International Affairs in England, the Council on Foreign Relations in the United States, are twin organizations for the same one world socialist goal. There has also been formed the Australian Institute for International Affairs. And during my visit to Australia in May of 1985, I visited the headquarters of the Australian Institute for International Affairs in Melbourne. Confirmation of intense cooperation between the Australian Institute, between the Council on Foreign Relations, and then again the Royal Institute in England was freely given by the personnel that I met at the headquarters of this organization in Melbourne. One woman I remember meeting told me with great delight that in 1983 the organization, the Australian Institute for International Affairs, had celebrated its 50th anniversary and they had a, a gala affair and the chief spokesman at their affair was a guest from South Africa, Mr. Harry Oppenheimer, the head of the South African Institute for International Affairs.